All right, so this video is going to try and help you simplify this whole midpoint thing. So the first thing that you're going to see is on the left-hand side, we have our normal graph. And we've got price on the y-axis right here. We've got the quantity demanded down below on our x-axis. And the midpoint method is really just going to have you arrange some of the numbers to make the midpoint between the old quantity and the new quantity and the old price and the new price. So the first things first, when you're looking at a graph, if you're going from this point here, which is A, that's the old. B is the new. And so one of the things that's going to be helpful is, since this is measuring down below the quantity, uh, A will be your quantity 1, and B is going to be your, your quantity 2. On the y-axis, the price axis, you're going to have two different prices. 8 is the old. 8 matches up with point A here. So that would be P1 or price 1. And then 5 is going to be the second price, so that's going to be P2. And that's going to align with B over here. And so what it wants you to do is it looks a little bit scary, but I'll try and simplify it. The midpoint method is really just two different formulas. You're going to do all this stuff here, and then you're going to divide it by all of this stuff over here. And eventually, you're going to get the, the answer that you're looking for. And so the first things first, we're going to have to line up Q2, quantity 2, minus Q1, in parentheses, Q1 plus Q2, in parentheses, divided by 2. This here is simply looking at the midpoint. So if you didn't want to do all this, and you can eyeball it down here, notice that 130 is exactly the midpoint between 100 and 160. But we'll go through the numbers. So your Q2 is going to be 160, right there. Your Q1 is going to be 100. And then you're going to take 100 plus 160 divided by 2. You wind up with 60 over 130. And if you divide that number, you get 0.4615. Now, by the way, if you do the math here, that's 260 divided by 2. That's 130. That's the midpoint. Or you can eyeball it over here and know that the difference between these two is 130. On price, uh, P2 is going to be 5. P1 is going to be 8. And so if we come over here and we say P2 minus P1, all of this stuff, or you can just take the midpoint and not do this, winds up being 5 minus 8 over 8 plus 5 divided by 2. You wind up with a negative 3. Don't get thrown by that. Uh, it's not that important for what we're doing. Uh, negative 3 divided by 6.5 is also, in fact, going to yield 0.4615. And so at the end of all that, you take the 0.4615 divided by 0.4615, and it equals zero. But again, all the midpoint formula is doing is it's just taking the difference. It's really the, the middle of the two ranges. And so here, it's 130. Here, it's 650. But the thing you want to make sure and, and understand is you want to identify the old to the new. The old is quantity 1. The new is quantity 2. The old to the new. The old is price 1 or P1. The new is price 2. Once you identify those, you can actually do the formula and work it out. Hopefully this was helpful.